All right, so now it's time. We're going to go ahead and uh, set up our physical interfaces and our network interfaces on our SPC. Um, and as mentioned before, I'm going to use uh, slot 0, port 0 for my access side and slot 0, port 1 for my core side. Um, and again, this is an access SPC uh, all on a local, uh, you know, private network. So not too real world, but uh, it does make it functional. So let's go ahead and get in there and create um, our physical interface names. <clears throat> let's go T and see if I can remember this right. I think it's system. There it is, physical. All right. Now, if we did have interfaces in here, uh, we could do the select and press enter, and it would show our interfaces. But we don't have any. <clears throat> um, you know, we're just setting this up. So let's go ahead and create a couple uh, uh, names for these. And I'm just going to be real basic on this. Uh, I know there's a lot of different you know, conventions, and this is not what Oracle recommends for this piece. Um, but when I'm first doing this, it was really confusing matching up my slots and ports to the different, you know, whether it was access side and core side, unless I looked at the description. So I found this way to be much easier, right? So I'm just going to call one access and one core, um, and then we can just go from there, right? So let's go name. Um, access, and then we can go ahead and say done, and then we'll do name, uh, there's core, right, there we go, and we can say done. So now when we do a select, we have access and core, so now we have actual couple interfaces uh, to work with. So let's go ahead and assign those, so let's do my first one, I'm going to use access, and we can do a show, and we see here that uh, it's already set at uh, spot zero, port zero. But the operation type is control. We definitely want to change that to media because it's going to be our, one of our media interfaces that we want um, all of our SIP signaling and RTP and stuff to go over. Right? So let's go operation. Whoops. Operation type, and change that to uh, uh, media. Yeah. There we go. Change it for me. To capital. There we go. And I think uh, that's really all we needed to do there. So let's go done. And now you can see it's uh, media. So let's go select again. And we'll do, whoops. And we'll do our core side two. And let's show that. And that's slot zero, port zero. But um, as mentioned before, we're going to want to change that to uh, slot zero, port one. So let's go ahead and change our port on that port will be 1, and again, we want our operation type to be uh, media. There, we'll go done there, and uh, you can see it's core media, 1 and 0. So we definitely uh, got all that done. That was the easy part, right? Let's go ahead and save and activate. I think that's uh, pretty important to do uh, as you're going through this. So exit. Go back to the hash prompt and activate config. All right. So before we get into the actual network interfaces uh, on this, I want to show you a couple commands here because we can kind of look at these before and after, right? So uh, from the uh, uh, hash prompt here, let's do a show uh, interfaces, all my Ethernet. And uh, it gives us a real quick description of what we have uh, on this virtual uh, SPC. It compares a lot to some of the physical ones out there, too, where you have your three WAN comms and your uh, four uh, media interfaces, right? So you have slot one and slot, or slot zero and slot one, and then you have two ports on each of those slots, right? So that equals four interfaces. So, um, and then the next one was a, whoops, a brief show. So let's go, and we'll just do brief. Just shows us the stuff that is kind of active and has stuff on it. Let me widen this out here. Sorry about that. There we go. Makes it a little easier to read. Um, so you can see here we only have our one interface uh, 
our WANCOM, our management interface, with that 10.30. So uh, I think we're going to use 40 and 50.40.50 um, for uh, the other network interfaces, and then we're going to do uh, SIP interfaces on top of those with different IPs. Uh, and I'll go a little bit more into why we need to use all these different IPs uh, here in the next in the next section, but uh, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, so let's go back over here. And you can also even show the interface mapping, uh, but if you look here on this, uh, um, it's just going to be all the same in here. It's just with the way this virtual uh, environment is set up, uh, everything is either generic or dummy. So, uh, but it does show you your MAC address layers uh, that, it, that it gives you in the, in the, uh, in the, in the virtual image. So that's kind of nice. Um, so we're going to go into network interfaces, and then, of course, we've got to set up some realms. We've got to set up SIP interfaces. We have to go into media manager, touch a couple things there. I like to latch the media so we can anchor like the RTP. Um, we've got to create a session agent for our uh, asterisk PBX uh, so we can send all the calls in there. And then we can build policies to actually route, route to that session agent, right? So we've got to build local policies for the core and access side. And then we've got to actually assign some attributes on those policies as well. So when we get back, uh, we'll start working on that. All right, it's time to set up our SIP interfaces now. So let's go in, uh, conf, whoop, get back over my terminal here. T, we'll do system, I think, network interfaces. And again, uh, this is uh, multi-contacts again, so if we do select, um, if we had any uh, uh, network interfaces, uh, they would appear there, we don't. so. Um, just like we did the physical interfaces, let's go ahead and uh, name a couple, and we'll go from there. So let's go uh, name, access, we'll do done, name core, and we'll do done. There we go. So let's go select, select, I can type. Now we have an access and a core. So uh, let's go ahead and do our... Uh, our uh, core side here first, which we were going to give it uh, the dot fifty is going to be our uh, um, our IP address for that for that interface. So let's do core, and we can do a quick show. And oh, hey, my uh, CLI more kicked in, huh? Uh, that's interesting. Um, if you remember a couple videos back, I didn't. I didn't really even do anything to it. Um, maybe just detected that there's um, more information now in the show runs. Uh, so. It was going to go ahead and kick in, <clears throat> but you can see that now where we can do Q to quit. Um, whoops, show, there we go. Uh, we can do C to continue. Uh, that will um, scroll the rest of it uh, on by, uh, or we can just do enter to do line by line. So that makes it really uh, kind of nice uh, as it goes by. So I like that feature a lot. But you can see here... Um, we selected the core, we have the core, we don't have anything else in here, right? So a lot of things that we need to give it, uh, we need to give an IP address, our uh, net mask, <clears throat> our gateway out. Um, I go ahead and set the uh, MTU size uh, for that. And then we're going to add some uh, interface uh, or uh, add some services that we can get in on this interface, right? So we're going to allow it to, We're going to. it's going to be pingable, ICMP, we're going to allow SSH on it, uh, an FTP, and then I think, I'm not sure what that is, I think that's uh, high availability. I'll have to check that out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and enable all these, uh, put these in there, and then we'll turn right around and do the same uh, for the access side. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's give it a description first. And again, when we use spaces, uh, let's go ahead and put quotes around them. Uh, this is one of the contexts that if you don't use a space, uh, it won't take it. So we'll just do core side, there we go, and we'll give it an IP address, 192.168.10.50, because we are on the core, yep, all right, let's do netmask, we'll do a gateway, Do signaling um, hip IP, and we'll do one nine two one six eight. And 
and again we'll add the FTP. It's next ICMP. And SSH. There we go. All right. So we could do a show here if we want. And um, take a look here. So our, our name is Core. Uh, support ID uh, zero. Description. We got that core side to asterisk. We got an address on it. 10.50 or subnet. Uh, our default gateway 10.1, and then we can come down here. We did our signaling MTU at 1500, and then um, oh, if for some reason it didn't take. Oh, we didn't do SNMP. That's fine. I don't have any SNMP, and I'm not going to use Telnet anyway. Uh, so uh, we have all of our uh, services uh, provided in there as well. So let's go done, and let's select. And this time we're going to do the access side. All right, so let's show that. And we don't have anything there. Uh, continue. So let me scroll over here, make sure we got our stuff right. So let's go description. Access side for cell phones. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because I'm going to need it later. There we go. Um, to NetMask. Gateway. Uh, signaling. MTU size. Um, ICMP. So we can ping it. Whoops. Um, in the real world, you might not want to take all, uh, add all these services onto these network interfaces. Um, you know, depending on what side you're on and how you want to manage it. Um, I'm just, you know, there's no security here on mine as far as accessing this. Uh, I'm just playing with the security part of the actual SIP itself. So. Uh, again, I'm learning this, so uh, I don't want to lock myself out and cause a bunch of problems and you know hours and hours of troubleshooting why I can't get into it. Uh, of course, I always have the WAN management uh, port I can get into as well, uh, but I'm kind of thinking outside the box of in a real world, I might not have access to that management port <laughs> unless I make a trip or something uh, to a, you know a server room. Um, so I'm just going to do it this way, and then uh, after I get things running and I uh, understand a little bit more about it, I'll start locking it down and removing some of these and playing with you know what I can get to and what I can't get to and what the rights are for these. So uh, until then, I'm just the way I'm going to do it. So all right, so let's go show uh, access. We have uh, access site for SIP phones. We got our dot forty, our net mask, our gateway. And we have our services on there as well. So, okay, let's do done. Excellent. Do select and take a look at what we have here. All right, we have an access and a core, both with IPs, both with gateways, net mask. We're ready to go. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, enter. And done and exit. Exit, exit. Again, save and activate. Save separate, activate, here we go. If I didn't do that and this thing got rebooted, I would lose all my changes. So again, that's pretty important. Always do always do your saves. And then uh, I do activate a bunch, uh, you know, but this is real world. You want to make sure all your config is in there and right before you reactivate it, especially if it's alive and there's, uh, you know, uh, traffic and uh, SIP sessions uh, on this. So let's go ahead and do the uh, show uh, interfaces brief 
So there you go. So now we have a couple more, right? So before we just had the WAMCON zero, our management. Now we have an access and a core. Uh, so we have pingable IPs on those too. With uh, uh, since I did save and make it activate, let me go to my uh, PC here and do a ping. 40 is our uh, access side. We can reach that now. And 50 is our core side. And we can reach that now uh, from here. So, pretty neat. All right. What else we got going on here? Let's go ahead and set up realms. Uh, the realm is going to be needed so we can put the SIP interfaces in them. Um, and again, if we go back over to... Where am I at? Um... There we go. Uh, if we take a look at our realms, remember we have an access and a core realm is what we're going to use. And that's kind of like a, an area, a room, right? The realm is the room uh, that contains uh, all the logic for that, that section, right? So our interfaces for the access side are going to be in our access realm. And all of our interfaces and policies and attributes and et cetera, you know, for our core side are going to be in our core realm. So again, to make this really simplistic, I'm just going to call my realms access and core then I can assign them appropriately. Um, you know, in the real world, uh, you might have, you know, multiple realms for different purposes, and you would give those purposes, right? Uh, I know you can also do nested realms. Um, I haven't quite done any reading on that yet, um, so I'm not even really going to try to explain it or discuss it, but uh, uh, in some of the newer versions, I think since 6.2 or 6.3 and above of the uh, Oracle SBC will allow you to do nested realms too. So, uh, you know, obviously that adds not only more, you know, functionality and flexibility, right, but adds more complexity as well. So um, I'm not going to quite get into that until I understand it a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do an access and a core realm. Okay. So uh, we did a save and an activate already. So let's go into CompT. Huh. Guess that didn't work out too well for me. Uh, something happened. I'll be right back. Well, uh, I'm not sure what happened there, um, but my 10.30 interface uh, wouldn't respond anymore to uh, pings or uh, let me in an SSH, which is my management interface. Um, but I turned around and I pinged the uh, the .40 and the .50. Uh, they were active. I SSHed into those. And then I went ahead and just rebooted uh, the SBC. It came back up, and now I can get into all the interfaces. So, you know, not sure if it's part of the VM thing or, you know, stability of my, my ESXi server or what. I, I looked, and uh, there was no errors being spit out on that. So not really sure. Something quirky went on there. Uh, but uh, everything looks, looks good now. Uh, I went ahead and saved my IP. If you notice up here, it's changed. It's 10.40 now instead of 10.30. So... I'm just coming in on the uh, access uh, interface now instead of the uh, WANCOM management interface. So no big deal. Anyway, uh, we're back up and running. So let's go ahead and set up our realms because um, the SIP uh, interface is uh, going to need those, right? Uh, I mentioned before uh, we get into the realm. It's the uh, area uh, where we get all of our, you know, management on a kind of, kind of on a, a pool basis there. So let's go ahead and do that. And in, the realm is in the uh, uh, CompT and in, in the media manager uh, uh, context after that. So I think it is in there. Oops. Oh, realm config, sorry. There we go. And you can see here there's a lot of uh, – um, a lot of you know other contexts and settings uh, underneath this uh, that you can that you can use. So uh, the realm is a very powerful thing. I haven't done a lot of reading and research on it. Um, I've kind of played around enough to get things working. Um, so that's what we're gonna you know kind of do here. And again, this is just kind of a, a learning video for me. I'm just kind of recording uh, as I go along uh, as I learn things uh, on this SPC. So. Um, Network. 
And then, so if you type in network interfaces, network-interfaces, and do a tab, it's going to tell you that we already have an access and a core uh, set up um, in, our, in, our, in our network interfaces that we just set up in the last video, right? So now we can actually uh, put those in, into realms, right? So let's go ahead and do our access first. There you go. So we can do a show now on that. And it's going to give us all of our uh, settings for that, quite a few. Uh, some of the key ones that we're going to do is the uh, identifier. And we're going to call this um, access. Don't need quotes because there's no spaces. And we're going to do a description. In fact, I'm going to change my identifier. I don't know if I can use a no command or not. No, I can't. So let's go ID, um, lowercase, because that's really what I named it uh, in there. So there we go. So let's do show. Here we go. So identifier is access. We have access uh, realm for our description. And uh, so let's go ahead and uh, we can get out of here. And then we're going to go uh, again, network interfaces. Whoops, it's tab, not enter. There we go. And now we're going to do the core. There we go. And uh, we're going to ID that one. It's core. And we're going to give it a description. God, I just can't type today, guys. Sorry. Cool room. There we go. To a show. And uh, looks good, right? There's some other things that we'll get in here as well. Um, that'll be a little bit later as we set up some of these, you know, attributes inside of here. There's quite a few. An invaluable guide to this is the CLI. Uh, reference manual. I mean, you know, and it's over a thousand pages long, but it's nice because you can grab one of these, like Stun Enable, and uh, you know, just search the PDF doc for that, <clears throat> and it's going to show you, you know, every place where you know Stun Enable is, and it's going to show you all the different values that you can use on it, and kind of gives you a little brief description about, you know, what that is, you know, if you don't already know. So. Um, it's, it's a you know invaluable guide. I mean, it's nothing to just sit down and read, right? But it's kind of a reference manual uh, to go in there and, and, and look at that stuff. So let's do exit. Save change. Oh, I forgot to put done on that one. There we go. Luckily, that uh, it let me know. And let's go ahead and set up our uh, let's exit and save out of here. Now we're going to go ahead and do our uh, home realm here. And that is session router SIP config. Oh. oh, I guess not. So we don't even have to mess with the home realm. So we're just going to go in and set up our, uh, our SIP config base perimeter in there, right? So let's go conf t. Um, and then it's session router, I think. Yep, there we go. And then it's zip config. All right, and now we can do, and even though it's just a single, there's really nothing that you have to select. There's only one in there. You still have to select. And then you can do a show. And it gives all the different uh, options for that as well, right? So the things we're going to do is we're going to enable the state because we want it working. And the operation mode is going to be a session. Uh, this is a session controller here. All right, and then we should be able to do done. States enabled, I like that. And where to give our session.
Oh, there it is at the very top, operation mode. So, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, All right, so we come back, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, SIP interface. Uh, we'll do a little bit more in the media manager, and we'll set up session agents, local policy, policy attributes. See you in a minute.